it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. I um, thought I did the bonus reading for Virgo because they had the highest number of views this week. And then I thought I've got enough time this morning I'll do a bonus read for everyone else as well. Why not, I'd say. I'm feeling very uh, much like I'd like to see what's going on in the world at the moment. Okay, so we're going to use the After Tarot for your bonus read. Let's see what's happening for you guys out there. All the non-Virgo guys. <laughs> if you're a Virgo, you get a bonus. You get three, not two. <laughs> oh dear, little things, little things. Okay, so I do have the Knight of Swords coming out here. How interesting, because we had the... Um, we had uh, the Page of Swords coming out in the What's Cracking reading. Sorry, I was sort of running away with my mind then and thinking how funny that we've got the Page of Swords. This is a, an Earth sign again. So we did have that in the What's Cracking reading. Um, somebody wants to speak a truth desperately. They're coming in with a very, very defiant sort of um, manner here very quickly. Very outspoken, very loud, want to talk, not going to hold back anymore. And here's the Emperor, very interesting. So it could be what who you see as your twin or your soulmate um, coming in here wanting to speak a truth. This could be an Aries too, by the way. Um, a man who's very knowledgeable, very experienced, very comfortable in their own skin. Um, sometimes this can be a father figure or the father of your children um, and sometimes he can be a little bit sort of over the top and controlling. He likes to be in charge, okay? And with that sword coming in at the beginning, I'd say it's a good indication of that. Somebody is coming in to make an offer here. Um, it's not a real big offer. You may only get starters where someone sort of sends in a little bit of a prompt and waits for a response. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, some of you an Aries, some of you an Earth sign. Um, the Page of Cups, I'm having trouble talking again. <coughs> so this person might be having trouble saying what they want to say. This is the tentative email, tentative text, a little bit of a, a little bit of a prompt here. Okay, have to say it could be someone from your past here. Could be past life lover too. Um, but somebody that you've got fond memories of, somebody possibly as way back as childhood. Um, this person can make you feel quite childlike. Interesting, but that's all nostalgia and reminiscing there. Maybe you've never stopped thinking about this person. Very nice. We have the boundaries here again. I've been seeing a lot of this card this week. It's so important and I'm sure there's a lot more underlying reasons for this than just about boundaries and being wounded. So I, I do think when a card comes up often enough that Spirit is saying to me this is really important for people to know this. So what I'm thinking is in your past relationships you haven't been very good at setting boundaries with people. You know some people they just they're people pleasers. So when someone walks into your life and says, you know, things are going to be this way, you go, oh, okay then. And you don't consider whether that's going to have long-term effects for you or not. So a lot of the time we get into a relationship and we start letting people just take advantage of us. And the more they take advantage of us, the more we decide to let that go. This is the card of not doing that. This is the card of saying, yeah, I like your idea. I think it's great. You know, yes, I could have a casual relationship with you, but it's actually not what I want at this time. And people will say to me with readings, well, what happens if he walks away? Well, then he wasn't meant to be with you in the first place. That's all I can say. Or she wasn't meant to be with you. Because if you're not allowed to have your own self-respect in a relationship, then you shouldn't be in that relationship. And if you're that desperate for someone who wants to treat you that way, then you shouldn't be in a relationship. You need to do more work on yourself. Now, I know that that's going to probably cause people to do thumbs down on me. I know that already. People always want to hear all the good stuff. They don't want to hear the hard stuff. But that's what that card's around. So for you people who are used to being doormats, no more being a doormat here. 
If you want a good, strong, long-lasting, healthy relationship, you have to say, you know what, that doesn't suit me. What about we do it this way, or would you like to have a talk about how we could go forward with that? Communication. King of Wands. He loves communication, the King of Wands. He's a talker. Can be a fire sign. Um, certainly somebody you look like you're dealing with here, especially with the Aries card above this. So um, it could definitely be an Aries you're dealing with. But this man does like to talk. Um, he is quite a warm man. Um, and again, a woman, if you're looking at a woman, very attractive, very strong, very, very strong leadership skills here. This is definitely not you. This is the other person coming through very strongly in this reading. OK, this is you, Queen of Cups, feeling very much in a place to be loved, understanding self-love, able to have boundaries in place. You could be very intuitive or a little bit psychic here as well, but you genuinely are loving. Now, it could be too that you have a water sign with a very fiery edge or a fire sign with a very watery edge here. Here's your intuition. This is sometimes about people not speaking up. So maybe now I look at this and I think maybe in the past you weren't keen to put boundaries down. You were scared of losing people. Maybe it's something to do with abandonment issues from your childhood. Keep that in mind with those cards there. Look at you, all single here. All single. Are you ready for new love here? Because you don't look like you are. I think you're quite comfortable being in your space here. And here's the King of Cups. I said to you it could be a water sign with a fiery edge. So for some of you, this is a fire sign who's very watery or a water sign who's very fiery. And what I mean by that is their sun sign, and you may have met them, and they may have been, I am a Scorpio, but underneath there's this fiery Leo passion, or there could be a Cancer with Aries there. Interesting. But you're moving away from this. So maybe they didn't respect your boundaries. Maybe you're moving forward on this. Because you're taking your ideas with you. So maybe you have learned your lesson and you're moving forward. Let's do a recap here. It's coming up as an earth sign here. And the sun's here, which is absolutely beautiful. And look, Ace of Cups. So definitely some of you have somebody coming back, somebody that you've known in the past, possibly when you were younger, you might have crossed paths with this person um, in the past. You may not necessarily have had a relationship with them. Um, it could be that you know of them, but you don't know them. Now, there's strong Aries in the reading, there's strong water in the reading, and we do have the Queen and King of Cups in the reading which all, and the page. So there's a lot of water here. Um, this is about using your intuition in relationships, not moving forward unless you've considered every aspect of what this relationship means for you. Now, what I need to say to you is if you want a one night stand and you don't want something more stable, then that's fine. You don't have to worry about boundaries if you're happy to sort of just have that sort of um, relationship with someone. But if you want something more long lasting, more stable, then you have to learn to listen to your intuition and learn what these boundaries mean for you. Now, I look at this and I think there's this feeling here that some of you are just going to walk away from something that's being offered here. And maybe that's because this person isn't respecting your boundaries. So it could be someone's come in to offer you something and they've said, I just want something casual. I'm not ready for a relationship. This confuses me. It scares me. Whatever that you want to take from that. But what's happening here is some of you are going, well, you know what? If that's what you want, that's fine. It's not what I want. On your bike, on your horse, off you go. Um, the thing is, I always think, and this is just the words coming through from deep within me. If you say to someone, I don't want it that way, and they walk away, then they weren't meant to be with you. So if that's the case, and they do want to be with you, they will listen to what you have to say here. And if they do walk away, but then they realise that it's something they want, they will come back to tell you it's what that you want. 
they want what you want. So I think sometimes people get a little bit scared about how they put forward in relationships, but then realize later it's what once they get a little bit of security. Now, the other thing that comes across strongly here is if you've had abandonment issues and you cling on to people and maybe you move very, very quickly on relationships instead of taking your time, I feel like the other person may be coming from a very, very similar perspective here. It may be that they too are scared of commitment or commitment phobic. So you might have someone that when you say, I want commitment, and they say, well, it's not what I want, and they run, but then they realize that that actually is what they want. And that's what happens with a lot of like the soulmate relationships when you see people come back after a period of time because they have decided that somehow or another in that situation they made the wrong choice. But what Spirit's saying here is you really, really need to listen to this intuition here. We have the Queen of Cups here, you know, which is a strongly intuitive cup, right with the highest card, with the high priestess here. But there's this strong feeling here that you're hanging on to your independence and maybe you're not willing to give it up to somebody who doesn't want the same things as you. Maybe you do want to be on the same page as this person. So you have to work towards that. And with this Six of Swords, you could be moving away from this energy because it isn't what you want. But it could be that you're walking towards this energy because it is what you want. So there you go. Nice reading. I will put a Wicker Oracle card on that. Oh, we have the rock. <laughs> and that's the card 18, isn't it? 8 and 1 is 9. Nice number. Okay, then that's called the Standing Stone. And it says you're exactly where you need to be, attuned with the elemental forces and in balance with them. Take a moment to take stock of your surroundings to find a fixed point on your life's path, a touchstone that you can return to when you're feeling less sure of yourself. So this is really about feeling really sure of yourself. So, and that's what you need to be when you're going into a relationship. You need to be sure of you. Because it isn't just about the other person. They may look good, feel good. You know, they might be an amazing kisser. They may be someone that everybody else wants. They may be very charming, whatever they are to you. But what is that for you? And how is that going to serve your greatest good? Thanks, everyone.